standing right here at 1520 Cedric Avenue in the Bronx. That's right, the birthplace of hip hop. And I go by the name Days the Nomad. We're going to talk about old school hip hop with my dog DJ Sherlock Holmes. Peace. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Talking Old School, presented by me, your boy, DJ Sherlock Holmes. On this edition of Talking Old School, we're going to be celebrating three of what I call hip hop's unsung heroes, three groups and artists who have provided great support and the backbone to the culture we all know and love. The first rapper on the list may be unknown to many, but in my opinion, he's underrated, understated, and is a lot better than a lot of the rappers more famous than him of his generation. And it remains a mystery to me why he didn't blow a lot bigger at the first time of him coming out. The first subject of discussion is Bronx born rapper Nine. An artist who made two dope albums during the mid 90s that went under the radar and for me didn't get the credit and the sales that they surely deserved. It wasn't just Nine's rough, gruff voice that made him so distinctive, but by the time his second album, Cloud Nine, dropped, Nine proves to be a well rounded lyricist of a very high calibre. In songs such as Play For Keeps, John Doe, Rich Man, Poor Man and Lion King, Nine proves to be a very dope, diverse, hardcore hip-hop artist and songwriter. And I must add, Cloud9 also features one of my own favourite opening tracks to a hip-hop album, No Introduction, and the album also features the likes of King Just, Third Eye and dancehall legend Bounty Killer. Two other pieces of material worth checking out from Nine are his classic freestyle on the classic Tony Touch Take 50 mixtape and NEMC taken from Nine's debut album. Listen to them two tracks and you'll see how talented Nine is as an MC. And if you do get the time to check out the six songs I've mentioned on this segment, I am sure you'll come round to my way of thinking in saying that Nine is dope, dope, dope. The second group I'd like to pay homage to is a group coming straight out the West Coast. A group that may not be as popular as some of its West Coast counterparts, such as NWA, but is a group that has provided some of the backbone to West Coast hip hop. And is a group that it is said was the influence behind Dr. Dre's G-Funk sound. Remembers Cole 187 and Above the Law, the pioneering hip hop group from LA that came out under legendary Ruthless Records and whose first album, Living Like Hustlers, is an absolute classic. The group Above the Law is formed by members Cole 187, KMG, GoMac, Cocaine, and DJ Chaos. During the 90s, the group were responsible for dropping some of the dopest hip-hop coming out of the West Coast and in Cole 187, they had a very talented rapper of the very highest calibre. The group's first album, Living Like Hustlers, is a dope classic West Coast hip hop album and a dope album period and an album that helped show the world a slight different side to West Coast hip hop. 
Since the release of their first album, the group went on to make a whole load of albums on a whole load of various labels, including Death Row. I have to admit not to closely listening to all of their later work, but in tracks like Black Superman, the group still produce classic bangers that, along with others, help put West Coast hip hop on the map. In a nutshell, I'd say Above the Law are a group worth revisiting and definitely worth checking out if you're not familiar. And in tracks such as Murder Rap, Just Kicking Lyrics, Black Superman and Untouchables, they're a few of my personal favourites. Check them out, tell us what you think in the comments below. The third and final act I'd like to show some props to, to me, epitomizes East Coast hip hop culture and was an inspiration to me when it came to writing those bars. Hands up if you're familiar with Andre Barnes, better known as Andre the Giant, also known as A.G. AG is a Bronx rapper who made the name for himself during the mid 90s as part of legendary duo Showbiz and AG and as a member of one of my favourite hip hop crews of all time, DITC Digging in the Crates, which includes legends Big L, Lord Finesse and Fat Joe. AG is a solid, no frills rapper and a dope lyricist whose content steers away from the corny bling bling, same old, same old we've been battered with over the years. With a catalogue of music that stretches over 25 years, AG is shone alongside legends such as Big L, Big Pun, Lord Finesse, The Guru, Primo, KRS One, just to name a few. Whilst AG may not have the fame like a Red Man or a Method Man, amongst the underground hip hop community, he is a legend the world over and still tours the world to this day. So it gives me much pleasure for being such a dope and real MC for over the years and for keeping it hip hop over all these years. AG, Andre the Giant, we salute you. Like, comment, and subscribe, you suckers. Yo, what's good? This is Dage the Nomad. Welcome to Inside Hip Hop. On this segment, I'm going to talk about unsolved murders of rappers in the hip hop industry. Now, everybody knew the legendary Big L straight out of Harlem who had lyrics and contests for days. Well, the story behind his death on February 15th, 1999, many people believed it was a friendship born bad with Gerald Woodley, who did stick us with Big L. Others believe it was a retaliation for something Big L's brother Lee did to the accused killer and childhood friend. Now, Gerald Woodley was in police custody after the murder and was later released due to the lack of evidence the cops had on him. Well, you know the story. What goes around comes around. Because on June 2016, Gerald Woodley would meet his fate by being gunned down in the streets of Harlem. Overall, Big L rap career was on a rise, but was cut short by a senseless killing. And the hip hop world lost a great MC. Rest in peace, Big L.
The year 1987 was the year Philips introduced the world to the CD, the compact disc format. And while Patrick Swayze was dirty dancing, Public Enemy was releasing their first album. Yo Bum Rush the Show, Eric B. and Rakim were paid in full, while KRS-One and BDP were criminal-minded. And at the same time, LL Cool J was releasing his second album, Bad. Mike Tyson was the baddest man on the planet, winning the WBA heavyweight boxing title from the hands of James Bonecrusher Smith. 1987 was the year Robert De Niro was untouchable. I want him dead. I want his family dead. I want his house burnt to the ground. We saw DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince rock the house, all while Heavy D was living large. During a year that brought us movie classics like Fatal Attraction, Beverly Hills Cop 2, and The Running Man, Killian, I'll be back. Ice-T proved to the world that Brian pays. And while Too Short proved he was born to Mac, Just Ice was busy showing the world he was cool and deadly. All in the same year, we saw Marvelous Marvin Hagler losing his middleweight crown in a shock defeat to Sugar Ray Leonard. We saw the Fat Boys prove to be heavyweights in the world of hip-hop with the release of their album, Crushing. All while the world got their first glimpse of N.W.A. and Posse. The one-stop hip-hop show. Talking everything old-school hip-hop. Like, comment, and subscribe, you suckers. Yeah, what's good? This is Days the Nomad. Welcome to Digging in the Crates with my dog, DJ Sherlock Holmes. On this segment, we'll be taking a 90-second challenge to tell you about his favorite hip-hop albums and hip-hop songs. But he got to do it in a 90-second time frame. So are y'all ready to go? Let me know. Street Dreams by DJ Ron G. Street Dreams ain't an album or a single, but a dope 90 minute mixtape. And when I say mixtape, I mean old school 90 minute cassette tape where DJ Ron G takes you on a musical journey. And this is in a time and era where the mixtape was your plug to what's hot and what's not on the street. Ron G takes you on a musical journey playing some of the hardest hip hop cuts of the time, some of the biggest R&B and hip hop club bangers of that era, featuring the likes of Fat Joe, Redman, DMX before he was famous, the Notorious B.I.G., Tupac, The Brat, where Ron G dropped some dope scratching, some dope cutting, some dope blends, and hosted by one of the dopest, hypest mixtape host of all time, Mr. DJ Ron G himself. Street Dreams is definitely a case of they don't make them how they used to, definitely a mixtape worth checking out, worth revisiting. Street Dreams by DJ Ron G. I'm DJ Sherlock Holmes. This is Digging in the Crates. Peace. 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 Yo, what's good? This is Days to Nomad. Welcome to the One Stop Hip Hop Show. And on this episode edition of my segment, Where Are They Now? I'll be talking about old school rappers and what they've been up to. So let's get into it. Do y'all remember hip hop legend Cool G Rap from Queens, New York? He stated that the G in his name stood for genius and Giacana from the mobster's name, Sam Giacana. Lyrically, he was a force to be reckoned with in the 80s and early 90s. He was born Nathaniel Wilson on July 20th, 1968, who later in life found the passion in hip hop and the rest was history. began his rap career as a hip-hop duo with DJ Polo and was a member of the Juice Crew. He was a pioneer of the hardcore gangster rap. His first debut album, Roads to Riches, with DJ Polo was released in 89 under Marley Mar label called Cold Chillin'. Throughout the years, Cool G Rap has recorded over nine studio albums, 30 
things and the list goes on for this MC. In 2009, he created a teacher book on how to rap, the art and science of the hip hop MC. Also giving you his experience on his writing and rapping techniques. Cool G Rap latest collaboration albums called Genius of Rap, Genius of Rap 2, and Genius of Rap 3 in 2020 was well received as an underground masterpiece. All three albums collaborating with Nas, Mob D, MOP, and other artists was released under his independent label, Full Metal Entertainment, with his business partner, Shaw. I have to give this man his flowers while he's alive for his impeccable flow and lyrics for decades. So people, tell me your favorite album or song from the one and only Cool G Rap. But first, subscribe, like, and comment below. Peace. The one-stop hip-hop show. Talking everything old school hip-hop.